What's going on YouTube? Today I want to bring you an Instagram hack for 2019 and beyond. Uh, this is very similar to Gary V's Two Cents in, in just applying yourself to the community that you're wanting to bring to your channel. But today I want to bring a little bit of a different perspective. So I have brought up my Instagram page and what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for Sony Alpha. So what I love about Sony Alpha, obviously I'm using their cameras and everything, is here's the hack. I'm gonna go to their tag photos, right? And I'm gonna scroll through and find photos that I genuinely like, of course, obviously. Like this one here. I love the ability, I love the way that, um, let's just talk as I type it, I love the way you frame this. And this is a true opinion. I love the way that he framed this. I'm gonna go to his page and I'm gonna see, okay, I love the aesthetic of this page. I even love this shot. I'm gonna just like that shot as well. But I like the aesthetic, I like the page. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna follow this person. I, I like the page, I'm gonna follow it, right? So I am finding people that I want my LinkedIn, sorry, LinkedIn, Instagram feed to look like. And by doing so, I'm able to curate Instagram's algorithm to say, okay, give him more of this on his feed. So I love this. I love the Tamron lens. Use this lens a lot. Love it. And that's, that's a genuine opinion. I love the lens. I would say it's definitely the best first lens to buy for any cell phone. Sony Alpha user. But you can just go through and scroll down even for you know some ways back and just find stuff that you genuinely like. Like here, I love the colors in this. These colors are incredible. And just give them this comment. What I've noticed from this is that probably about 75% of the people that you comment on their work will comment back, at least replying to that comment. Probably about 25 to 30%, even if you don't follow them initially, will follow your page. If they go to your page and see, yeah, I resonate with this person's page as well, and obviously your feed and your page should represent the community that you're trying to achieve and the community that you're trying to pull toward you, but if you reach those kind of uniquely similar interest audiences, you're gonna be able to pull a lot from that and just being able to build your own community community with the interest that you're trying to achieve in mind, it's similar to the golden rule of just life. Output what you're trying to input, right? And I feel like it isn't necessarily the play at this point in time to just hashtag your photos like crazy and hope that something comes your way. I think we have to actively go out, just like we do on LinkedIn, just like all these social media platforms are starting to lean into now, and go out and find the audience that we want our feeds to look like, that we want to just network with I think it's awesome because now immediately I'm, I'm putting out seeds to then build relationships with amazing other creatives so me as a creative I can then learn from these be inspired by these awesome creators and just build my own personal you know skill set as well so I hope that this helps this is obviously more so a photography and media based example but this can apply to anything gaming YouTube streaming on twitch whatever so i hope this helps i would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below feel free to follow me on instagram too by the by and until next time i'll see you on the internet